Good morning, everyone. So, I made it to Clewiston last night. I was exhausted. I made sure to book uh, the room I'm, I have here uh, on Priceline last night before I got in. So, I was able to just walk up, get my room right away, and uh, they checked me in easy peasy. Um, so yeah, today I'm taking a zero uh, rest day. I, um, it's 11 right now. Uh, I just walked across the street because I'm going to go to this China buffet that's right across from my room. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, just resting today, uh, enjoying myself and, oh, I just found out that the Houston Historic Inn that I'm staying at is haunted. <laughs> okay, I mean, some of you won't believe me when I say this, but last night at like 2, I woke up after, you know, knocking out and sleeping for a little bit. Uh, I woke up at 2 a.m. I heard, you know, footsteps in the hallway, so I was like, oh, it's probably some kids just running down the hallway, messing around, you know. I opened the hallway, the, the door to the hallway, nobody's there. And I still continue to hear the footsteps. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, so, yeah, I'm freaking myself out by looking online at all the history of, of this place, and... <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's a little fun, something different. Um, yeah, it might be just a tad bit scared. No, it's I'm fine. Um, it's just weird because I've never experienced anything like that before. Uh, might be just hearing things because I've heard about the place being haunted. walked over here. I'm going to the buffet over here. Uh, yeah, so today will be interesting. <coughs> so this is where I'm staying. The Cluiston Inn. It was the cheapest option around. Uh, maybe because it's haunted and nobody wants to stay. <laughs> Wi-Fi isn't working at the hotel. Uh, the service, I have like full bars, but like full LTE, but that's not even working in this town. Clouston, where is the service? <laughs> so yeah, now I'm walking to the McDonald's, hoping that their Wi-Fi works and I could get on for the premiere tonight. Uh, yeah, so searching for Wi-Fi that works right now. <laughs> Hiker problems. All right, so I used the McDonald's Wi-Fi for quite a while. Um, now I'm headed back to the hotel I'm staying at and uh, that 
I'll be back at it tomorrow. So, yeah, um, I'm almost done. It's going by super quick. And I'm just super excited uh, to get to the southern terminus. Alright, let's get to the room. Ooh, so I'm going back to uh, the room when it's dark. Oh no. Is a ghost gonna get me? It's possible. I did hear things last night. Um, I don't know if it's just because I heard that it was haunted and it's just me, like my mind playing tricks with me or if I actually heard things. I, it was like 2 a.m. <laughs> we'll see tonight. I'm back to my haunted room. Hopefully I don't die. <laughs> I know it's silly, but I've watched like, and I've read like the news articles of this place and it's kind of scary and I've heard I've read about the deaths at this place and I'm just like oh please not don't be me So cool. trail just left the place I was staying at um, yeah it's super noisy so I'll talk to you guys later when I get to a quieter part of the trail <laughs> Does that mean I'm almost home? <laughs> California? Iguana! It ran away. It's down there, but an iguana. Super cool. Maybe I'll find one so you guys can see the iguana. Finally off like the main road that I had to walk because the construction on the dike. Oh, it's a little quieter, which I appreciate. Jeez.
I take that back. It's not quieter. <laughs> it's not quieter. It's quieter even a word. <laughs> it's not quiet. Um, that's a lot better than being on that busy highway. Uh, and Corkscrew was another road that uh, other hikers are taking as well. But yeah, nice to be on more quiet streets. Whenever I see clouds like that, I'm like, oh, a fire, 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 a fire. Cause I live in California and I'm used to seeing the sky like that, sadly. Yeah, this, earlier this morning, I uh, saw an iguana, but I didn't get it on camera fast enough. But that was cool. Um, yeah, so now I'm just headed down the trail and I'm finally out of the busy streets. So now I'm just headed towards the L3 canal bridge before the reservation. And then I need to get a ride from there around the closure and then start back up and finish this trail. I'm not sure if you can see him, but there is a gator in the water. Right there. I don't think I'm gonna see a gator as big as I did the other day though, laying on that beach. That gator was a big boy. So now every other gator I see is like, oh, that's a little baby. <laughs> all the birds on the railroad. I don't think I'm ever gonna make it because I keep seeing gators and it's pretty cool. Look at this one. I don't know if you guys can see him. Huh. Let's go down here. on the road right right and look at what uh, I find I like almost step on hmm. you wouldn't expect to see that <laughs> Thank you. 
left uh, this water. Thank you so much. Uh, so, cached water for us. And then the trail, the blazes. So he goes across and then uh, across the canal. And then down the canal down there. Alright, I'm taking a break here though. Hey everyone, so I think I'm going to hide out here all day at the water cache and just wait till the sun goes down because it's just not enjoyable right now, even um, with the umbrella and it's just really humid. It's about 90 degrees and uh, no shade at all. So these are the only, this is the, the only tree I've seen for miles. So, I'm going to night hike to the canal, the L3 canal bridge, and that's where the closure starts. So, I can't go past that. Um, that's where, you know, the reservation starts, so we can't go through because of COVID. So, uh, hopefully there's a car there that will take me, like somebody, you know, who knows about the Florida Trail or a worker or something, somebody, you know, to take me around and, uh, or at least somewhere where I could get an Uber. Uh, I know that there's not, you can't get an Uber from there. So hopefully it works out. We'll see. Anyways, I'm just gonna, you know, stay here and relax, stay out of the sun. Whew, night hiking tomorrow. Tonight. See, I'm going insane night hiking tonight um gonna seem like tomorrow because i'm gonna take a long nap right now in this kind of sort of shade um and then just hike on the dike till get to the canal all right let me show you my view there's like cars going down this road so that's the dike i we've been walking on you can always see the cars right next to the canal and then see walk down here and then now I'm just taking my break Hey guys, so um, I've made it to this gas station, uh, I made it to the L3 canal bridge, so the reservation uh, closure, uh, so you have to go around it. So I made it to this gas station and now um, the 75 is right there. And now I just have to find a way to get to the other rest stop. So it's pretty late. Um, I'm just, you know, have some Gatorade and gonna take a break. I've been walking all day. And, uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna post on the Facebook page right now that uh, I'm here at this gas station and if there's any way I could get a ride tomorrow to uh, the rest stop to go into Big Cypress. So we'll see what happens but for now I'm just resting here. Oh I could just sleep right here but I don't want to be that homeless person and get you know <laughs> the police called. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Good night.